So it's no secret here that I love the iPhone 13 mini, but the battery life can be a killer for a lot of people. So in this video, I'm gonna go over some of my favorite tips that has actually helped me preserve my battery life and get through that day without having to hit that charger too many times. So without further ado, let's talk tech. <laughs> Starting off this list is my biggest and most crucial tip, which is checking your battery usage in settings. Checking the battery usage is gonna tell you what apps you're using the most, and it's also gonna tell you what apps are draining most of your battery by percentage. And so obviously starting at the top, you're gonna see the biggest battery killers, and you're definitely gonna to wanna to check those to either maybe check your usage of those apps, or what I like to do is check to see if they are using location services, if they're using other things in the background that I don't need them to use. I've had apps where maybe a long time ago I've enabled location services to be on always, but they don't need to be on always. Maybe I just need them when I'm actually using the app, or maybe I don't need them to be on at all. That will actually drain the battery and cause some battery usage. So especially with a mini sized phone, you're gonna wanna look at all of these different apps and cut out those different things because kind of like a death by a thousand cuts, you wanna try to minimize all the things that are using up all the battery on your phone. While you're doing that, you're also gonna wanna maybe consider deleting some of the apps that are killing the battery on your phone. If you have an iPad or a Mac or just other devices that maybe you don't need that app to be on your phone, you could actually just delete that app and use that app on other things. And so if it's something that doesn't need to be on your phone and it's draining your battery, maybe consider getting rid of that app. Now up next is considering lowering the brightness. Now when you notice that the brightness is being ramped up, you can definitely lower the brightness manually and that will help so that the brightness being ramped up that's using the battery of the phone and getting the phone hotter and just draining the battery there, uh, you can actually lower that so that way it's not using as much battery and as much power usage. Now, a specific example of when I personally do this is there's certain videos that I'll just play in the background and I just want to listen to them almost like a podcast. But what I've noticed is that if I just throw on a YouTube video and I put my phone down, if it's under a light or if it's near a bright area, it's just going to shoot that brightness up and ramp it up. And I don't need it to be on full brightness when I'm not even looking at my phone. And so one thing that I like to do is drop that brightness down super low and flip my phone over so that there's no light coming to the phone. That way it's just as dim as it can possibly be or throw that phone in my pocket and that way I'm just good to go. The screen isn't killing the battery. Sure, the YouTube usage is going to affect it somehow, uh, but definitely not as much as a fully lit phone that's just blazing bright with nobody actually looking at it because I set my phone down to go and wash dishes or play with the kids or whatever. Now, real quick, if you are finding value in this video, definitely drop us a like and let us know down below. Do you like the mini phones? Do you have a mini phone? I really wanna know. And specifically for you people that are thinking about mini phones, we've seen a ton of comments of people that would love to go to a mini, but they can't do that battery life. I wanna know, are you somebody that's in that camp that is considering a mini? but the battery life is kind of that thing that's just not quite pushing you over the edge to get it. I would love to know. I'd love to have a conversation with you down below. Now next is a specific uh, tip that I haven't really seen talked about a whole lot. Certainly I'm not the first one to talk about it, but it's not really widely known, is to stop the cellular backup for like photos or data that you're uploading up to the cloud. And so what I mean by that is, Whenever you're doing something with like Google Photos or iCloud or whatever, and it's able to back up these things wirelessly, it's gonna give you the option to do either just Wi-Fi only or cellular backup, which when you're out and about outside of the home and you're traveling, whatever, it's gonna automatically bump those things up to the cloud, whether it's photos, videos, documents, whatever it is. By having the cellular backup, that's actually going to not only be using the phone's battery all the time when you're out in the real world and it's just gonna be constantly backing things up, but it's also the cellular usage actually uses a little bit more power than just a regular Wi-Fi backup. And so by doing that with the Wi-Fi backups, especially for photos and videos and things like that, not only is it gonna be using Wi-Fi to back those things up, it's gonna be using less power, but chances are you're at home. If your battery's running low, you can just throw it on the charger. Now it's not even using any battery and you're using the Wi-Fi as well. So you really don't have anything to worry about. So that's my tip for you. 
And specifically for like the Amazon photo users, I set it to where it's just on overnight upload. And so it only does a backup when it's connected to Wi-Fi. it's connected to a charger. And I basically just put my phone down and it's doing all the backups for me. So I'm literally manually starting it and there's no way that it's actually gonna be using up battery life because I've already connected it to the charger and I'm about to go to sleep. And so I just do that. That'll be my last thing for the night. And it's just doing the manual upload for me. Now up next is my fourth tip, which is to lower the screen timeout timer on your phone. When you set your phone down, it immediately starts a clock where the last tap that you did, it's gonna start a countdown timer to where once it hits zero, then it's going to actually turn off the screen on your phone and your phone's just gonna go black. So what you can do is you can actually change the time that you want it to time out. You can set it to time out super quickly, like 30 seconds, or you can set it to time out for 10 minutes or to never time out. And so definitely check the settings for you because every time you set your phone down, if you're just checking the clock or the time or whatever, then it's just never going to time out and you have to manually hit that. Well, all that time that it takes for you to realize that you need to hit that is battery that's being used. Kind of keep that in mind with your usage because if you're somebody that needs the screen to be on all the time, you don't really want to mess with that setting too much because it'll be really annoying to have to constantly tap the screen to keep it awake. So find that healthy balance for what works best for you. So I hope this video was helpful and informative. And if you are liking this video, definitely check out some of our other 13 mini videos, which I'll have one here and one here. And until next time, I'll catch you in the next video. Peace.